Welcome everyone to episode two here on Frontier, Oil Tycoon. Where in this episode we're going to go from the one well that we currently own and hopefully expand to a much larger operation in hopes to someday own this oil empire. So let's get started. We're going to start by bringing this crude oil that we pulled out of the ground overnight and run it down to our production to turn it into some diesel. So let me run this all down there and then we're going to build a new facility. Well, This is the last of the barrels of crude oil I have already produced. I have the brick factory running right now. I'm trying to find a way to be able to make the cement. If any of you out there know of a cement producing factory would be great because we really could use it so I'm not buying cement all the time. I have all the sand out here still to clean up and it'd be nice to be able to use some cement that I make myself instead of having to buy. So that is my goal in a future episode if anyone out there can help me with that problem. So let me get the new production built. So we currently have this oil well pump. Well now we're going to put in this big oil pump. It's a lot larger in size. If I can zoom out a little bit. We'll spin it around so it faces that away. And try to keep it close to our other oil well. Right about there. That's nice. That'll produce it a lot faster so we can make a lot more crude oil. Well, I got the factory put down and now I'm looking at what it needs. And I'm like, there's air. Where do I buy air at? And my little six-year-old is sitting next to me, and he goes, the air factory. So where's the air factory? <laughs> so let's see if I can find it where I can get some air. After watching some YouTube videos trying to figure out where the air comes from, the video told me that, you know, it's zero input on air, so it actually doesn't even take any. So we can just turn this on and start making it active. And now we're getting crude oil. As easy as that. Perfect. This will really increase our crude oil production. So we already got three liters. Well, while that is pulling crude oil out of the ground, I'm going to get some more sand so we can sell it so we can be able to actually have some money to buy the tanker that we're going to need to haul crude oil. So let me get some of this picked up and sold off, get some money in the bank, and then I'll be right back with you. At times I wonder with all the money I make from the sand, picking up the sand, that why do I even mess with the crude oil? But my guess is if I quit cleaning up the, the desert ground here around the oil wells, you know, the city manager would probably kick me off of this project and wouldn't let me do it anymore. So I wouldn't be making any money. So I will just be happy with the crude oil production and the sand at the same time. This should give us enough money to be able to buy a tanker to be able to haul our crude oil from the, the pumps down to the refinery. So let me get one of those purchased. I think I'm just going to go with this cheaper one. It only holds 8,000 liters, but you know we don't have anything really big yet to spend the money on the big tanker. because We'd also have to have a semi to pull in. So I'm just going to go with this one for 25,000 and go move the crude oil. Well, in the short amount of time I've had this facility, we've made 3,300 liters of crude oil. And over there, it looks like we've only made about, I think, I'm not sure if that's 500 liters or 1,000 liters in those two barrels. So yeah, this is a lot better. I think we're going to probably end up putting another one of those in and getting rid of our little well. Let's get it over here and have it start producing diesel. There we go, going in to production, producing diesel. Still the highest price value. Diesel is currently coming in around $3,800 per, per thousand. And we've currently produced over 1,100 liters of it. So we're, we're not going the right direction. Let me get some uh, equipment moved around here and try to get a place for another one of those wells. Now we added a larger refinery to our piece of land. We're going to add another one of these drills down here. We got rid of the little drill. We're going to add another one of these bigger pumps to produce more of the crude oil out of the ground to be able to take on our bigger refinery. So let me get more sand picked up so we can afford to 
buy another because those are 200,000 a piece and we're only at 38,000. So let me get more sand picked up. Well, we have made enough in sand that we can go ahead and buy our second big oil pump here. So we're going to place it. Hopefully face the same direction my other one was. Get right in between the two. Go. Now we can produce twice as much. Because we've got both of our refineries running down there. We've got some diesel off it already. So this will be able to produce more so we can get get more uh, diesel produced with this crude oil. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep tonight. Boy, that helicopter is loud. So we're going to sleep tonight and then see how much crude oil we have by morning. Well, now that it's morning, we have just shy of 40,000 liters of crude oil between the two pumps. So now I'm just going through here, getting some of this diesel loaded up. We're going to go sell it since we have so much crude oil, I'm going to have to buy a semi and a bigger tank. Because this little pickup just can't pull these 8,000 liters. There's no way it's going to pull a big semi trailer. So I'll go find the best place to sell this. And then we'll go buy a truck and trailer. Well, hopefully they don't give me a hard time by only bringing 8,000 liters. You know, when the big guy out in the oil fields, he... He brings in millions of liters every day. But hopefully someday soon we will own part of his operation and run him out of business. Right now there is a gas station in town that's got a decent price on this fuel. So, so we'll get through this guard shack here. We're in town. Now it looks like the big guy beat me here. He's got a full tanker load. They said they'd take it. So let's get around there and get ours offloaded. There we go. Hopefully it'll be enough to be able to buy a truck and trailer. Well, 30,000, it's not a lot, but we might be able to lease a truck and trailer. I think we'll keep this little trailer for moving stuff around that's in a smaller quantity. Plus, well, right now we just have that little 2,000 gallon tanker for the water. So I also need to see how our brick production's doing. Let's go check that out real quick. Well, I have looked all over the block factory and I can't find where the blocks come out at. I did notice you come down through here and you can get through this door inside the building. But there's nothing in here. So if you have an idea where these, these uh, blocks come out at, let me know. Then I will try to sell them eventually. But let's get back to uh, our diesel. I ended up going with a used Volvo truck with the tank on it. I believe we've upgraded it to, I believe it's 82,000 liters. Could be wrong. Maybe it's 820,000. Let's find out real quick together. I got all this crude oil down here. Like I said, it's about 20,000 liters in each one. Actually, probably by now it's over 20,000. Fill this up and see what we get. Well, I'm guessing it's 820,000 liters since we have 22,000 in it right now and it's only 2%. So that's good. It'll last a lot longer. Finish by filling this tank also. Or draining this tank also. Well, we got 43,000 liters of crude oil here. I think we're going to take this all to our larger refinery. We'll just get a little bit more later. We do have that little van back there, so hopefully our van will be able to take all of this, all of this kerosene that we have here. We've got plenty of kerosene between the two. There, good, it'll take it. Let's hope this tanker work fine. It unloads a lot faster than it loads up. So at least this production point is running again. A large refinery. Let me grab a little cargo van and see if it can pick up the pallets of kerosene. Well, it's not auto-loading the pallets, so we're going to manually put a couple in here. I think the van should be able to hold two of them. Oh, maybe if it's not too short. Yeah, it'll fit. There we go. Oh, it looks like now it's loading in. I guess we just have to do it manually like this. Let me get all these loaded up, and then we'll go find a place to sell it. Well, I got all the kerosene in here. We got 8,000 liters of it. 
actually put a little cell station right here next to our place for all the people going into the city and coming out of the city they can stop and get their kerosene right here so let me unload this thing real quick hopefully we can make good money off it $41,000 that's pretty good for just eight pallets worth of kerosene well, I think that should do it for this episode here on Frontier. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure to slap that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Until next time, have a blessed day, and bye bye